So this is very impromptu, very unplanned. We have the opportunity to work with some new hardware again, but don't worry, I will save you the pain of having to do one of my joke unboxings. It's fine, it's probably fine. We've had a request come in. We have a budget of $1,400 to build something new. And fine, you might think, yeah, 1,400 bucks, that's easy, that's fine, that's great. You can do plenty with that. That's for two computers. We've got 1,400 Australian dollars to build two computers. I have placed the order for the hardware last night, which uh, I kind of stuffed up a little bit, which I will explain in a minute. This should be interesting because they want the computers like yesterday. The requirements for the computer is that they had to be current gen Core i3 CPU, and the only other requirement was that it had to have support for triple monitor output, so use three screens at once off the system. Now we're doing that off onboard video, turns out that wasn't as easy as I thought. The original quote was for a particular motherboard that I picked, it was a ASRock H310 something, B310. Even though that motherboard has three outputs, so it has VGA, DVI and HDMI, uh, reading the fine print, it will only support two monitor outputs at once. So I had to upgrade to the 360 chipset, which some Googling tells me it will do triple monitors, but the, and there's nothing in the fine print about it only doing two outputs, so hopefully it's right, because that's a fairly major requirement. If not, we may have to throw a graphics card in it to get the third output, but we'll see what happens with that. Fingers crossed, it's all good. So the problem with that though was that quoted the price based on the 310 motherboard and then we had to upgrade to the 360 motherboard. Sorry, that was the other requirement. It had to be running Windows 10. Now the place where we're getting the parts from currently has 20 bucks off if you buy a Windows 10 OEM license and a motherboard together. And thankfully, uh, you can do that twice. Like you can get two motherboards with two Windows OEM licenses and you get 20 bucks off each. Now I'm off to get some hardware and then uh, we'll get unboxing, which like I said, I promise I will not try and make fun of this time. Um, and then we'll get building. So, back with some hardware. So we have two core i3 8100s. Two, one, two, good, count, good. All right, let's put them aside. Then we have two lots of four gig, crucial DDR4 2400. RAM, that is times two, so eight gig each. 16 gig all up, I guess, but they're going in separate machines, so we won't really add those together. Um, and then two Kingston A400 120 gig SSDs. These are really cheap now, hey. These are $38 each, 38 Australian dollars each. And uh, yeah, that's not bad. Then on top of that, then we have two ASRock ASRock, 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 uh, B360M HDV motherboards. Yeah, I checked with them and they said these should support triple monitor outputs, so we should be good. We also have two uh, Microsoft 10 OEM licenses, 64-bit. Let's get building. Stopwatch. This isn't my main phone, by the way. This is a secondary phone that I have because my main phone gets way too many notifications and interruptions, so that's not gonna work for this. But this will do just fine, even though it's only an old iPhone 5S. That will do the job, because all we need is a timer. Anyway, ready, set, and go. I'm gonna do this one close to the camera. 
Hi. Can you get to see more of this ugly mug? I apologize for nothing. Jacob raises a very good point. Hello, Jacob and Dave. Before we cable tie everything in place, we will test it first, which I should have thought about, but kind of in a hurry, kind of not really. What are we up to for time now? At this point, we're an hour in. There have been interruptions. Anyway, we will plug in everything to the second one, and then we will go and look at that. Don't look that way. You don't have that option. I have that option. Don't look that way. Um, so we're just over an hour 20. Both computers are ready to have their first power on and have the operating system installed. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to keep the timer going, but it wasn't too bad. Um, had a few interruptions, a few phone calls, but ready to go. If they power on and start up properly, which fingers crossed they should, um, then it's time to do some cable management and other basic cleanup really. Put uh, panels back on and um, get an operating system on. Look, this is gonna be really rough, but it's gonna happen. My desk is a mess. My desk is always a mess. I'll get there one day. Um, we have power, keyboard, and monitor. Monitor's ready to go. And the good old trusty worker hole. Power on time. Woo! Oh, we got power. Do we have signal? We got power, signal, signal. Oh yes. Look, it works, but date slash time not set. That's okay, it works. That's the main thing. Power off and we'll try the next one. Bye-bye. Here we go again. Number two. We've got some fans. We've got a light. Oop. Ready? Ready? Hey, same thing. Works. Cannot read that. Date and time not set. That's fine. All right, cable management time. Wish me luck. Builds are done, cable management's done, cases are closed, um, OS install time, and then Windows updates, and then job done. We still gotta apply the stickers though.
Time to clean up. Bye. A couple of minor problems encountered with the build. The motherboard backplate didn't fit very well underneath the fan because the fan is so close to where it sits. So you had to put it up at an angle underneath the fan and then down to fit it in. Uh, and the power supply that was included with it uh, only has one four pin ATX connector as opposed to an eight pin ATX connector. Uh, everything that I've read and been able to find says that this should be okay. It's not doing heavy workloads, it's only an i3 processor, so not heavy power consumption. There's no overclocking. There's not even a dedicated graphics card in it, so, but that would get its own power feed anyway, so that's different altogether. Both builds are done, ready to go, ready to be delivered. Our final timer at the end was 4 hours, 18 minutes, 30 seconds. And that was at the last shutdown of the second machine. So OS install and Windows updates, driver installs, all the rest of it. That wasn't completely uninterrupted. That was with customers, messages, phone calls, all between that. So I guess it wasn't that bad. Like as you saw, the actual builds themselves were completed at about an hour 20. It wasn't too bad. Windows updates take a while though. They suck. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you like what you saw, or even if you didn't, uh, show us your thumbs. And you can follow along on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Mrs. Scrapyard Techie and I are playing retro games every second Saturday night. Uh, you can follow along with that if you want to as well. Anyway, thanks. Bye.